and welcome back to the Buzz and the Keys here on Conk 1500 AM. And we have another question coming up on Ustream um, from uh, from one of our listeners. Uh, and he says, uh, thank you. For you, Heath, you think um, Spiky is very pretty. Thank you. Um, but uh, he's asking, has the oil reached the dry tort Kutugas yet? No, to my knowledge, definitely not. It, and the uh, the oil is not in what they call the loop current. Once it hits the loop current... What is a loop ca- current? Loop what current is, is a current that flows. As a matter of fact, if you looked at the, at the Citizen newspaper, they show you exactly how it's designed to where it's a current that goes around from the Gulf all the way around to the other side of Florida, around the Keys. and so around, Is it part of the Gulf Stream? Yes, it's part of the Gulf Stream. Mm-hmm. Was, I mean, I know you... Oh, yeah. You, oh, you know, we haven't read the paper yet today. Starts in and goes that Just look at the back of the Citizen newspaper, and you'll see it there. Okay, okay. That, uh, it'll show you exactly. And once it gets in that loop current, from what I understand, what I've been told... It could be here as quickly as 72 hours, three days. Right now it's not there. We hope it doesn't get there, but it's getting closer and closer. I think it's about 30 miles away. Now, are we bringing down equipment to the Keys? To, uh, uh, equipment's coming from all over. That We're getting prepared. Everything's getting prepared. Uh, that's what exactly what our management team is doing right now today. They're sitting down. We have some equipment, and any equipment we don't have, we're going to make sure we have get ready booms, organized boats, fishing boats. We're going to prepare for the worst scenario there is. Now, BP has, has come up with a, a new idea with this big cone, right? A, a kind of a dome, rather, that's going to be going, they're putting it over the... That's right. It's, it's something like a 70, 70,000, uh, 76,000 pounds or tons or something where they drop it down over it. You know, I, I've seen that. I've seen that on television. I see what they're, they're coming up with this idea. Uh, we'll know in a couple of days if it works. I mean, there's many different ideas out there. There's also these, these uh, micros that they put out in oil where the oil can actually eat itself when Somebody came to me, but I don't know how many of these are actually have been proven, how they work, and that's what everybody's exploring right now. Now is the time we're going to find out what we can really do and what man is capable of. Well, you and know, you know the, um, different politicians who were um, supporting, you know, um, more offshore drilling, um, off well, Arnold Schwarzenegger, off California's reconsidering, um, off the Keys, um, you know, people are starting to take a second look at this, and do you think that's a, a reasonable thing to do? I definitely think that's a reasonable thing to do. To take a look at you know, it's always a, it's always a give and take situation. We're tired of being held hostage by the Middle East. Right. We're tired of that. Definitely, you know, the, what has been done with the oil and the oil price. What's happening in our country is it, it frustrates me. But on the other side, we can't ru- destru- ruin or take a chance of destroying our own environment. And especially when we have, we're in such sensitive areas. Well, yeah, and that, that's really what I'm surprised. Man. You know that why, why wouldn't? I mean, I can understand having oil exp, uh, exploration, but why do it in, in areas like in the Gulf that that I think is producing 40 percent of the oysters that are you know being consumed? Um, I think around the world, or at least the U.S. Um, you know, it's a food source for us. Um, the, the 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 Florida Keys, which is a, a marine sanctuary. I mean, I I just don't understand why they're even considering having anything even close to those areas. Well, I mean, right now what they have out there, believe it or not, they have thousands of oil drills out there right now in the Gulf, which which have been there for years, and I think uh, this is a typical situation to where they're beginning to realize that uh, if we could keep on expanding in this way, sooner or later we're going to wind up uh, as you might say, eating our own or destroying ourselves, and I mean man has a habit sometimes of doing that. Thank God there's people out there watching it, and I, I don't believe we should be doing we should be doing this. You know, I'm not sure but my own personal opinion as, as a citizen of Monroe County I have a lot of thoughts about drilling out there, and I have a lot of concerns before I would ever say yes to that. The need a lot more to be explained to me. I know. I thought the um, BP was the, was, uh, had a shutoff valve. It, right. It, it should have had a shutoff valve. And that's what's extremely disappointing, what they say they have and what they really have. Right. And what the answer is and why this says they, they were supposed to have backup systems and this is supposed to be so safe. Well, what, excuse my language, what the hell happened? Right. All right. What happened? What's going on out there? And that's, I want some answers. And I think everybody in this country I mean, should who, and one. Yeah, who's checking this? Who's regulating it? Thank who's, you. you know. Thank you. These are the answers that I need to know. I need to know who's regulating When was the last time they checked it? How do they know? And why didn't this system work? And is this system good enough? How many more do they have out there like that? Or do we need a system to back up a system to back up a system? You know, maybe we shouldn't be there. Sounds Maybe like a, we should not be and there. And Halliburton is, is also uh, involved in that, aren't they? I, I, mean, I, I believe so. Yeah. You know, BP, 
uh, they've got their hands full right now, and they've, they're, they're in a lot of trouble. And this is an eye-opener for everybody. It's an eye-opener for everybody. It's like a ticking time bomb. Yep, yep. Do you think they've been proactive enough? I can't answer that question. You know, I don't want to criticize unjustly people right. until I know the facts. Right. I'm not the I'm the kind of guy I like to sit back. I like to listen to all sides. That's part of my job. That's why I make decisions, sometimes hard decisions, but I won't make them until I know all the facts. And I don't know all the facts in this case. I don't claim to be an expert. I'm just a concerned commissioner, a concerned citizen, a concerned father, and a concerned grandfather. What's happening to us? And a, and a, and a, and a wonderful know. diver. Hey, yes, uh, that's right. <laughs> Speaking of which, um, you're running. We meant to say that. You're running for commissioner again? Yes, I am. I'm Why running. are you running again? Why am I running again? Uh, well, my retirement came up four years ago, and that's when I first came into office. And I have certain plans. I have a certain mission to complete. I want to help this county. And... I found out there's nothing greater than the greatest satisfaction I'm getting out of helping people. And uh, I've put together so many relationships in Tallahassee and Washington to where I think right now I've driven this county through the most difficult financial times the last four years. And we've been relatively successful. We've done some good things. We've reduced our, our, our divisions down from nine to four. We've reduced staff. We've brought down costs for the first time. And we've been, we, our taxes are, are below rollback and we're being fiscally responsible which we should do and we've been we've been more successful our county than anywhere in the rest of, of, of Florida as far as our tourism is concerned, as far as our hotel, our industries are concerned. And I've worked hard on all of these. I've worked hard on working, you know, on the Vandenberg. I've worked hard on working on getting new legislation for, uh, and completing our sewer systems down here and our wastewater system. But I'm not finished. I still feel the county needs me, and I really feel I can give them a great service. And I'd be honored if they were to listen to me and trust in me. And I will continue on the path that I've been on, and I just reach out and say, please vote for me if you think I'm your right commissioner. I'm going to do the right job. One thing for sure, I'm dedicated. I am seriously dedicated to this county, and that's the only agenda I have is to make sure that you, your family, our children, and our grandchildren have a better life. Well, thank you so much, and uh, it's always a pleasure talking with you. And we, we didn't get to talk about Charlie Crist at all, which I wanted to do, but we'll hopefully have you back and 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 uh, talk more about him as well next time because we'll be speaking about him pretty soon. What he's going, what he's up to. I did have a long conversation. We will speak again about it. I would love to. And love to. Next time, thank you, ladies. Thank you, so Mario. Right? As that's, always, the next time. <laughs> that's Mario always. Di Gennaro. Uh, we're going to take a little break right now. Again, you're listening to the Buzz and the Keys on Conk 1500 AM, streaming live at conkam.com. And if you don't catch us today, you can see us 24-7 on demand at conktv.com, C-O-N-C-H-T-V.com. We have a few messages, and we will be right back. Thank you, Mario. Thank Mario, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you, ladies. We'll see you Pleasure on the road. Okay. definitely will. 